One. She says no. Two. She says depression is a white man's privilege. We do not have the privilege to have that much time to ourselves. Three, she says, look, in order for someone to be depressed, one first must be living. All we have been doing is surviving. Four, she says, how do you tell a person they have mental illness when, they, when there is nothing mental about surviving? Just running and running and running and running and trying to not have your child witness the sound of a bullet going through flesh before they witness the holy sound a vowel can make before it turns into a word that eventually becomes a language and running and running and running. Sir, we would like a new doctor for my daughter. My daughter is not depressed. Five. She says... How can one be depressed if your native tongue doesn't even speak of it to its existence? Our people do not get depressed. Six, she does not get depressed. So, sir, we would like another doctor for my daughter. Seven, the doctor looks at me and asks me, what do you think? Eight, what do I think? Nine. I wonder if he realizes he just told a woman who sacrificed everything to the bone to protect her children from more of a fight she cannot protect me from, a fight she cannot help me flee from, run from, sacrifice from. I wonder if he realizes what that will do to her. 10. I wonder if this is the moment she realizes wars doesn't end when the gun stops shooting. Maybe that's why denial is the loudest thing in this room right now. 11. I wonder why the depression test asked me to rank how often I cry and not why I don't cry at all. 12. I wonder if he realizes the hopes dreams and expectations of my generation is the main thing keeping my mother's generation standing 13 why is my mother sitting 14 I wonder if today is the day my mother realizes although she could stop running when she got to the U.S. my generation the Somali diaspora is still running stuck in between two cultures trying to uplift both expectations 15 we are still running I am still running just not from guns 16, I wonder if today is the day my mother ties the, the Somali diaspora to a white man's privilege. 17, I wonder if today is the day my mother realizes that the Somali diaspora is gaining a fight she cannot protect us from, a fight she cannot help us flee from, run from, sacrifice from. 18, I look at my mother. And I look at the doctor. 19. What do I think? 20. I. We. Would like to have a new doctor. And bandages. For my splinters from running.